Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Xbox On. Now on the 15th of January, our American friends across the pond are going to be celebrating National Hat Day. Ellen, Ellen, it's, it's your line. Look, Benny, I just thought we'd agreed that we were going to wear silly hats for the intro. I mean, you never get involved in these things. No, I just didn't want to mess my hair up. Whatever. Look, here are some of our favourite hats in video games. When you go around stabbing people in the back of the head or just walking up to them and thumping them in the jaw, you're going to want to make sure you're looking sweet. The Assassin's Creed series is well known for its iconic hoods, but in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Jake Fry brought a new addition to the mix. Starting off the game in his dandy flat cap, a favourite of mine, Jacob can upgrade to a rather spiffing top hat as part of various outfits. But a top hat is cumbersome for assassins. Where does he put it when he pulls his hood up, I hear you cry? Well, thanks to our friend called Preet and an even bigger bigger Assassin's Creed fan than me, we learned that Jacob's top hat is actually an opera hat, which folds flat to hide inside his jacket when he needs to be sneaky. Nifty. In Skyrim, you can make your character look like anyone and wear pretty much anything. However, there was one piece of headgear that became synonymous with the Doverkin after it was heavily featured in the epic announcement trailer. Skyrim's version of the simple iron helmet became iconic, being based upon the stereotypical Viking horned helmet which Vikings never wore by the way. It didn't have the best stats in the game, but my god did it look so freaking cool. Fuzzero down, Dragonborn, you looking good. What is with Ellen and these jokes? So, like Skyrim, Bethesda's Fallout series gives players the chance to wear a variety of fabulous headpieces. However, one standout hat is Boone's beret, and not just because it's bright red. Boone gives this special hat to you to help you signal to him who he needs to snipe to get revenge for his missing wife. In truth, it's not actually that special. It looks exactly the same as the first Recon Beret, but it's a slight variation of it. It's also a bit lighter and has zero bonuses to perception and critical chance. You know what, Boone? Maybe if you just had the normal hat, maybe you would have perceived what was happening to your wife and she wouldn't be dead right now. <gasps> I'm so, I'm so sorry, that was, that was completely uncalled for, Boone, I'm really... <sighs> you didn't think we here at Xbox One would do a hat list and not include the helmet of the man on Xbox. Master Chief's helmet is not only immediately recognisable, but it's also hugely helpful, with its visor giving players all the information they need, a comm system, general protection from everything the Covenant is shooting at you. It's also special in the way that you almost never see the Master Chief without it. We've only ever seen his eyes, so when you see the helmet, that is the Master Chief. Now, Jacob Fry's top hat is snazzy, but Jeremiah Fink's hat is really something. I mean, look at how tall it is. I particularly like the splash of patriotic colours. Businessman Fink is proof that sometimes you need a big hat to look important so that everyone in your weird utopia will agree with you when you're being a massive racist. Not only that, but he made a gigantic golden statue of himself in it. Well, I guess he needs a hat that size to fit his huge ego. Fortunately, Booker is given the chance to try and knock it off his head near the beginning of the game with a baseball. Hey, hey, wait, get gear off. I want to knock his hat off. He doesn't deserve that hat. Well, then again, it would be a shame if something were to happen to it, like you getting all your blood on it. Oh, oh dear. Now, I know it's National Hat Day, but I've decided to include another helmet, which I know Graham will be very happy to see included, as Boba Fett is his favourite Star Wars character and is everyone's favourite bounty hunter. What I love about the helmet is that it reminds me of an old school Roman soldier's helmet with a sci-fi twist. Like, how cool does it look? That won't happen again. Now, I nearly chose another Rockstar Games character, John Marston, but then I remembered that L.A. Noir contains a ridiculous number of dapper hats. Seriously, nearly every guy is rocking some kind of bonce coverer, so it almost feels weird when you meet a guy who isn't wearing one. Like, dude, did you not get the memo? However, none are quite so slick as the ones worn by Cole Phelps. Initially, Phelps is equipped with a standard police cap, but once he gets his promotion, he likes to rock very sleek-looking trilbies as he goes about solving cases, the most iconic of these being the tan trilby. He wears them when looking around crime scenes, interrogating suspects, chasing down criminals, and even in fights. Although, be careful, Phelps, you don't want to get your hat knocked off. You, of all people, know just how dirty the streets of LA are. Oh, damn. That's gonna be all dusty. Do you want your hat to be the very best, like no hat ever was? 
To get them is your real test to wear them is your cause. Well, maybe you'll want Ash Ketchum's cap from the early Pokemon games. Okay, technically the dude in all the games is red, but we all know it's the same person and it has that absolutely awesome cap. Like, I'm sure you're like me when you were younger and wore your cap in that exact way because of Ash. Like, it works, doesn't it? It's just, like, I, th I think it works. I'm ready. And where's Pikachu? Pika, Pika. So there are some of our favorite gaming hats for your loaf. What in the world is your loaf? Loaf of bread. Head. Guys, let us know what your favorite hats are in gaming in the comments below and make sure to drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe for way more cool videos from us. Yeah, ones where you're not made to wear stupid hats. Hey! See you guys next time.